We're here at the San Diego County Administration Building where San Diegans will be gathering in about 90 minutes to honor the life of George Floyd. And I am joined live right now by Francine Maxwell. She is the president of the San Diego chapter of the NAACP. Thanks so much for Thank you for having by. me. I know it'll be a big night tonight on this one year anniversary, May 20th and May 25th, 2020. So much changed on that day. What, what has changed this year? the unity. We're still amongst the same vigor of unity that has crossed the nation. George Floyd and his family has changed this nation and the excitement still carries on. What still needs to change? A lot of um, policies and procedures, especially qualified immunity. We need our elected officials to be bolder leaders and we need change to happen sooner than later. What reaction have you gotten from those political leaders in the conversation? How does that go? The government takes time, and but we need to have intentional conversations. We have to be in a state of emergency. We have people dying every day at the hands of law enforcement. And everyone has unified at watching the murder of Mr. Floyd. And so it's time for change, not only in his honor, but all the people that have died at the hands of law enforcement. What is your reaction to what's going on, not only here in San Diego today, but around the country? honoring George Floyd on this anniversary. It's exciting. It adds comfort to the families to let them know that we are still walking side by side with you, along with all the families that have died by the hands of law enforcement. It's very important that you not forget them ever. We know family members will be here and other people. What will happen today in front of our county administration building? The Reverend has put together a program with other um, elected officials, with other organizations, and it is a treat for people to meet the family member, the cousin of Mr. Floyd, who was out to sea serving his country and listening to his message. He has a message for the nation about love from this family, and it's going to be powerful. And Shane Harris is putting it all together. Reverend Shane Harris, yes, he is from the People's Association for Justice. So he will be speaking and other speakers will yes. be there as well, as well as the family members? Yeah, there'll be a cousin here. All right. How many uh, people are you expecting? Over 500, easily, because you look at the streets who've been marching. All right. It's going to be busy. Yes. It's going to be packed in front of the county administration building. All of that happening, as we said. Uh, at 6 o'clock, it will kick off with the family members of George Floyd here, as well as Shane Harris and other representatives. Thank you so much, My Francine pleasure. Maxwell, for your time, and we know you'll be here throughout the evening. Steve, back to you.